Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is network software, what is protocol, service and interface, and then I will explain some important network protocols like HTTP, TCPIP, FTP, and SMTP. I will explain all these topics in detail. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is network software. Network software is a set of programs and protocols that helps computers communicate over a network. Thus, network software is nothing but set of programs and protocols. Protocols are nothing but rules. By using these protocols, computers can communicate in a network. Network software manages data transmission, ensures security, enables applications like web browsing, emails and file sharing. Guys, for example, if you consider Google Chrome software, Google Chrome software is an example of network software. Google Chrome software contains set of programs and protocols. Protocols are nothing but instructions and rules. By using these protocols and programs, we can communicate over the internet. So, Google Chrome software contains programs and protocols. By using this, we can perform activities like web browsing, email sharing and file sharing. And this network software also provides security. So, Google Chrome software is an example of network software. Guess each and every network software contains programs and protocols. Based on these programs and protocols, network software will work. As we are doing web browsing, sending emails and sharing files in Google Chrome because of these programs and protocols. These are examples of network software. And the first one is operating system network components. Thus, for example, if you consider operating systems like Windows, Linux, etc., each and every operating system contains network software. By using this network software, computers can communicate each other. Guess, for example, I want to copy songs from my laptop to my friend's laptop. So, what I will do is, I will connect to these two laptops by using cable. And then I will copy songs from my laptop to my friend's laptop. And this file transfer is successful because of network software. Each and every operating system contains network software. By using that network software, computers can communicate each other. Like they can share files, songs, movies, etc. Whereas network software contains protocols. Protocols are nothing but set of instructions and rules. For example, if you consider operating systems like Windows, Linux, etc. By default, all these operating systems contain TCP IP protocol. So, whenever you install operating systems, like Windows, Linux, etc., all these operating systems contain TCP IP protocol. So, there is no need to install it separately. By using TCP IP protocol, computers can communicate each other. Where TCP IP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and Internet Protocol. By default, all operating systems contain this protocol. By using this protocol, computers can communicate each other. And there is also FTP protocol, where FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. This protocol will not come with operating system. You need to install it separately. By using this protocol, computers can transfer files in a network. So, name itself says File Transfer Protocol. This protocol is used to transfer files, where protocols are nothing but set of instructions. And second one is web browsers. Guys, web browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox, all these web browsers contain network software. Guys, in web browsers, we are doing web browsing and sending emails, sharing files. All these are happened because of network software. Web browsers contain network software. By using this network software, data transmission is happened using internet. Guys, HTTP, that is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. This is one of the famous protocol used by web browsers for communication. So, TCP IP protocol, FTP protocol, HTTP protocol, all these are communication protocols. Based on these protocols, computers can communicate each other in a network. Thus, without network software, computers cannot communicate each other in network. So, some network softwares are pre-installed in operating system like TCP IP protocol and whereas other softwares like web browsers, we need to install them. That web browsers will not come with operating system. We need to install web browsers in order to connect to network. Thus, in olden days, computer networks focused mainly on hardware parts like routers, switches, cables, etc. And they don't have much focus on software. But at present, 
network hardware and as well as network software both are given equal importance this is all about network software next i will explain what is protocol a protocol is a set of rules that computer follow to communicate with each other over a network computer can't speak like humans instead they use protocols which are set of rules that defines how data is sent and received guys protocols are nothing but they are set of rules if two computers want to communicate with each other over a network then they need to follow rules we call that rules as protocols for example one person will speak english and next person will speak telugu they cannot communicate with each other because they are using different languages so similarly if two computers want to communicate each other in a network then they need to follow same protocols in order to communicate with each other yes for example i want to use facebook in my computer so what i will do is i will open any web browser like google chrome then i will search for facebook.com so whenever i search for facebook.com i will type http colon double slash facebook.com where http stands for hypertext transfer protocol guys web browsers like google chrome firefox they all are network softwares these web browsers will use hypertext transfer protocol for communication so based on http protocol we can send a request and we will get a response so whenever i search for facebook.com i will type http colon double slash facebook.com so http protocol will send my request to facebook server and similarly facebook company also uses http protocol based on this protocol i will get response that is i can see that facebook page so two computers must use same protocol in order to communicate each other for example if you consider internet internet will follow http protocol for communication as i am sending request by using http similarly facebook also give response by using http protocol guys i will explain some important network protocols and the first one is http where http stands for hypertext transfer protocol this http protocol is used for websites for example i want to open google.com so what i will do is i will send a http request like http colon double slash google.com so whenever i send request google company server will provide me response that is it will give me google page and next protocol is tcp ip protocol where tcp stands for transmission control protocol and ip stands for internet protocol guys i already said before tcp ip protocol comes with operating system whenever you install operating system in your computer tcp ip protocol will come by default with that operating system so this is main protocol that allows computers to communicate over the internet guys in tcp ip protocol the duty of tcp protocol is to send data without data loss this is responsibility of tcp protocol and whereas ip protocol is responsible to find the best route in internet you will get data very fast this is because of ip protocol because ip protocol will find best route in order to send data that is why we are getting data very fast in internet this for example i am in hyderabad location and my friend is in bangalore location i want to send email to my friend i will open gmail and then i will send message like i will send how are you whenever i send message how are you my message is divided into packets like how is one packet r is one packet and u is one packet packets are nothing but piece of data piece of data is known as packet and each packet will find best route in order to reach to destination how will find best route r will find best route you will find best route in order to reach data very fast so after reaching destination all these packets will reassemble in order like how are you and this data is read by receiver guys in tcp ip protocol data is divided into packets and each packet will find best route in order to reach destination tcp protocol ensures data is transferred correctly so this person will read correct message and whereas duty of ip protocol is to find best route each packet will find best route because of ip protocol where ip stands for internet protocol that's i already said before tcp ip protocol comes by default with your operating system so if you want to check tcp ip protocol in your computer just you need to open command prompt and type ipconfig where ipconfig stands for 
internet protocol configuration. So whenever you open IP config, it will show complete details regarding TCP IP protocol. This is all about TCP IP protocol. And next protocol is FTP protocol, where FTP stands for file transfer protocol. That's if you want to transfer files in internet, then you need to use file transfer protocol. Guys, if you want to upload files in server, or if you want to download files in server, then you need to use FTP protocol. So by using FTP protocol, we can upload and as well as we can download files from server. Guys, FTP protocol will not come with operating system. You need to install FTP protocol separately. Guys, for example, if you consider FileZilla software and CyberDuck, these are FTP softwares. By using these softwares, we can upload and we can download files from server. Yes, software developers, after creating websites, they will place that websites in server by using FTP protocol. And next to protocol is SMTP protocol, where SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. That's in internet, we are sending emails. This is happened because of SMTP protocol. So it will take care of sending emails from one computer to other computer. Next, I will explain what is service. A service is a function or task that one layer provides to the another. In networking and computing, it's like when a lower layer does work for a higher layer. So that higher layer does not need to do itself. Yes, whenever send a transfer message in a network, message will be transferred from various layers and each layer will perform one task. Whatever the work done by lower layer, that work is useful to higher layer. In network, lower layer will do work for higher layer. We call that work as service, so that higher layer need not to do itself. Guys, there are various kinds of layers in network, like network layer, transport layer, application layer and so on. Guys, whenever sender send data to receiver, the duty of network layer is to find best route. And whereas if you consider transport layer, so duty of transport layer is to find whether data is reached to receiver correctly or not. And whereas if you consider application layer, this application layer contains web browsers. By using that web browsers, we can send data. Guys, duty of network layer is to find best route. So there is no need of transport layer to find best route. So network layer will provide service to transport layer. So transport layer again need not to find best route. So just a duty of transport layer is to send data correctly. This is meaning of service. Guys, in network, whenever person send data, the data is sent to receiver through various layers. Each layer will perform certain task that is useful to above layer. This is meaning of service. Next I will explain what is interface. An interface is the point where two layers interact. This I already said before. Work done by below layer that is useful to above layer. We call it as service. And there will be point where two layers will communicate each other. We call that point as interface. If you consider real life example, by using ATM machine, we can do bank transactions. By using ATM screen, person and bank communicate each other. So we call this ATM screen as interface. Guys, next I will explain relationship between protocol services and interfaces. Yes, protocols are nothing but they are rules. By following that rules, computers can communicate in network. So protocol is like a language for communication. And next one is service. Service is nothing but task done by one layer that is useful to other layer. We call it as service. An interface mean point where two layers interact. We call that point as interface. Example like ATM machine. Yes, for example, if you consider real life example, by using WhatsApp, we can send a message. And WhatsApp contains protocols. Protocols are nothing but rules. Like we need to send only text messages. And whenever we send a message, it will deliver status like single tick, double tick, and blue tick. All these are rules that are nothing but protocols. Yes, whenever you send a message in WhatsApp, that message is sent correctly. If you send hello, your friend also will receive hello. Whenever you send a message, that message is forwarded to your friend using various layers. Each layer will do certain task. That is why person will receive correct message. And next one is interface. That's by using WhatsApp, you and your friend can communicate each other. So this WhatsApp screen acts as interface because WhatsApp screen is a point which will connect to you and your friend, that is interface. 